with some of the team from Beijing Jingdao. Now you might not have heard of this machine tool company, but it's absolutely phenomenal. Just to give us a feel for the size of the company, how many staff do you have in the R&D section? How many staff overall? In total, we have 4,500 employees wow. and 900 people in the R&D. So a lot of people. So how many machines do you sell a year? About uh, 12,000 machines we produce a year. Uh, and we produce about 90% of the machines by ourselves. Wow, that's absolutely amazing figure. So if you haven't heard of them, we're going to find out more of them in the UK and Europe very, very soon. Yes. Okay, so we're looking here at the GRU 150, which is your five-axis machine. But you have how many five-axis machines do you have in the range? Well, the super accurate range, should we say? Yeah, we have five, uh, uh, eight, sorry, uh, five-x uh, milling machines in yep. high accuracy uh, uh, components uh, in a couple of sizes. So the 150 is. A lower middle size machine, yeah. we have also the 150 very small ones. Oh, okay, because this itself is a very small footprint. Yeah, the footprint is very small, but we have a quite good uh, uh, result for good parts. Yeah. And of course, with an automation like this, we have uh, on this moment in 30 uh, pallets uh, automation on this side. But we also can go to 60, uh, 96 uh, pallets for wow. one machine. So a lot of components in there. And that's key to what you do with this company. It's all about basically making money while you sleep. Mark, people who don't know Beijing Jingdao, it did start with the software, CAD CAM software? Yeah, in 1994 they started producing software. Yep. They had very good uh, uh, innovation technology. Well, it was too good, wasn't it, the software, for the machine tools that were available? It was available. too good for the, for the machines. The machines didn't understand uh, the innovation that they had in the software. And on the end, uh, customers were asking, can you also build machines who yep. understand the software so we can really keep this high quality uh, from the software and really use this innovation Into technology. Into the machines. Okay, so you've got your CAD CAM software, so you've designed your component, you've done a done cam on it, Into well, load it into here, into, into the pallet side of things, and then it just it does it all for you basically, is that right? Yes, we have a controller, but it's more or less not only in controller, but it's also having the, this cam software inside of the controller. Right. So uh, what we do is, uh, Outside, we do the CAD CAM, we program the machine. We also program in the, in the CAD CAM where we want to probe, where we want to measure the, the parts yep. when we are going to produce. So then we put the parts, uh, the material in the, in the loader, uh, in this uh, type, uh, 30 pallets. We go uh, up to 96 pallets for 25 kilograms wow. in this type of machine. So a lot of parts there. Yeah, and the machine will start milling. And on the end, uh, when we say, okay, we want to check if the part is uh, uh, in the tolerance that we want, plus so another, minus two. Another key thing to this machine is that you don't need to take those parts out to check them. It'll be checking, measuring all the way through the process where you require. There's no yes. manual in intervention required. Yeah, the, the machine can be very accurate if you say, okay, we want to have a part in, uh, in 2.5 microns, oh. uh, plus minus. Yeah, we can do it on the machine. But if you have to take it out, measure and put it back, yeah. your zero point clamping system will not yeah. reach this accuracy. So okay. why don't you measure also in the machine? Just leaving it. Yeah, I mean, the zero point systems are very, very good, but it, that manual intervention, you're always going to get some element of inaccuracy. Yeah, and it costs a lot of time. Yeah. I mean, on this moment, we put it in the machine, the machine will measure uh, his, his part. And if the part is uh, uh, not requiring the, uh, the, the question, the machine has a, not only the controller, but also this cam software inside of the machine. Okay. He will do automatically when you are sleeping or sitting on the bike with your wife. <laughs> no, the machine will do its correction by himself and he will run the part again. Oh, okay. So we are so having it's a, a good part. It's inter interactive. So again, we're making money while we sleep. That is all I need. Let it run. Okay. Now, the controls, I've not seen these type of controls before in terms of programming language. Simple to use compared to if I've got a Fanuc or Heidenhain, Siemens, whatever? Yeah, I, I think the controller is uh, always simple to use. Yeah. I mean, that is the whole key about the controller. Um, it's the same like a car driving. Yeah. Uh, you know where how to do the dr car driving. You only need to learn which button is where yeah, it's Yeah, just slightly different buttons. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's fine. And looking in the working envelope, it's an absolutely fantastic machine in here. So what's going on in terms of spindle speed and, the, and number of tools, just to clarify? In this machine, we have a 24,000 spindle, yeah. own spindle, own produced. Uh, we have a one knuckle, uh, five X uh, uh, yep. table, four and five X on, on one knuckle. Um, yeah, it's a very okay. decent machine. And what sort of materials is will this be capable of machining? Yeah, of course, the normal materials, stainless steel, steel, uh, aluminium, but yeah. titanium, inconel, glass, uh, ceramic, we can do a carbide. Um, oh. yeah. any, any challenge? Any challenge we can do. Okay. And any in, industry, I mean, you, we've got examples of molds, for example, but any industries that you're looking at doing work for? Yeah, we do a lot of uh, in the mold industry, of course, yeah. uh, but also semiconducting, medical, 
Um, uh, on this and moment, of course, uh, electrical car parts. Right. Um, yeah, you name it and we can make it. Okay, and you've got enough application engineers, so if someone comes to you, you can provide that solution for them. Every, every challenge we, uh, we take with two hands and, uh, of Brilliant. course, with the, with the team in China and the wow, team in, in yes. Europe and America, we can uh, be successful to help you with this new technology. That's absolutely fantastic. So essentially, doing it all in one go, just load up the machine and make some more money. Make some money, lights out and making Brilliant. money. That's absolutely fantastic. Mark, David, from Beijing, Jingdao, you'll be seeing a lot more of these machines.